Hello friends, this video on triangles part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 18. Let's do some activity for similar triangle. Side, side, side. Let's draw this line of length, let's suppose 4 cm. Let's assume that this is 4 cm. Now let's draw an arc. Let's suppose this is 5 cm. And now again from this point, let's draw an arc. Let's suppose this is 6 cm. 6 cm arc. Here at this point, you draw this line now. You get this triangle with side 5 cm, 6 cm, and 4 cm. Now, now again, let's draw this line. Let's suppose this is 4, so make it 8 cm. Twice of this. So I'll say 2x factor. This was 5, so I'll draw an arc from here 10 cm. Correct. This was 6 cm. 6 cm. So I'll draw an arc of 12 cm from here. This 12 cm. I got this point. And let me draw a triangle. So I got this triangle. Now let's suppose this is A, this is B, this is C. So this is A dash, B dash, C. Now since we have drawn the triangle in such a way that 4 by 8 is equal to 5 by 10 is equal to 6 by 12 that is BC by B dash E dash is equal to AB by A dash B dash is equal to AC by A dash E dash is equal to 1 by 2 is constant right that is AB by A dash B dash is equal to AC by A dash E dash is equal to BC by B dash so we have drawn in such a way that this is true thus these two triangles are similar also, now if you measure angle A, we will find that angle A is equal to angle A dash. If you measure using compass angle B, you will find that angle B is equal to angle B dash. If you measure angle C, you will find that angle C is equal to angle C. You can do for any triangle. Instead of 2x, you can take 3x also. You can make it 12, 4 into 3, 12, 5 into 3, 15, 6 into 3, 18 centimeters. You can take any length, you can take any factor. You will always get angle A is equal to A dash, B is equal to B dash, C is equal to C dash. Thus, if we can prove that if all these three sides are proportional, that means triangle is similar. So let's go to the theorem. The theorem says that if in two triangles, side of one triangle are proportional to the sides of another triangle, then the corresponding angles are also equal and the two triangles are similar. similar. This is the triangle. Now we have this triangles are drawn in such a way that the given thing is like given. Given is AB by DE is equal to AC by DF is equal to BC by EF. That is given. The sides are proportional. We have to prove that angles are equal. That is to prove. Angle A is equal to angle B, angle B is equal to angle E, and angle C is equal to angle F. These three things we have to do. Here also similar to that, we will draw a line PQ such that DP is equal to AB. So this is X, this is also X, AC is Y, this is also Y. Correct. Now we are told that the first thing we are told that AB by DE is equal to AC by DF or I, instead of AD, AB I can say X, X by DE is equal to instead of AC I can say Y, Y by DE, Y by so DF, DF. So if you see in this triangle, if x by de is equal to y by df, I can tell that pq is parallel to ef. Correct? Proportional theorem. 
So I can say that PQ is parallel to EF. Correct. Now since PQ is parallel to EF, angle P is equal to angle E and angle Q is equal to angle F. See now since we have drawn in such that x is equal to y, correct. So and this angle uh, yeah, x is equal to y. So we can say that this was proportional action. This two were congruent. So P was equal to angle B and C Q was equal to angle C. Right? Now C B is equal to angle P and P is equal to angle E. I can say that B is equal to angle E. Similarly, C is equal to angle Q given because these two triangles are congruent. I will put a star here. These two triangles are congruent. C is equal to angle Q. Q is equal to angle F. So C is equal to angle F. Right? So we have proved that angle B is equal to angle E and angle C is equal to angle F. Similar to this, if we draw a parallel line here, we can prove that angle A is equal to angle D also. Also, since these two triangles are congruent, we can say that angle A is equal to angle D. So, we have to prove that all the angles are, corresponding angles are equal. Thus, if you prove that all the sides are equal, it means that all the angles are equal. If you prove that angles are equal, it means that sides are equal. Correct? There is some point to be noted. In case of triangles, two triangles are similar if either of the condition is true. That is, if sides are proportional or angles are same. Please note, this is only in case of triangle. In case of other polygon, any other polygon, both the condition has to be true. That is, sides are proportional and angles are same. So here it is and, both the conditions have to be true. Here it is or. That is, in case of polygon, both the condition has to be true. Sides are proportional and angular are same. In case of triangles, any one of the condition has to be true. Because if sides are proportional, we have proved that angles are same. And if we also prove that if angles are same, sides are proportional. Correct? Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests. Get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.